In this video, I want to explore what we mean by a uniform distribution. I'm going to generate values that you might get if you rolled a 10-sided die, but I'm going to generate them here in the spreadsheet using this function. I'm going to take that function, I'm going to fill it down a ways, down to uh, 101. That'll give me a hundred of these values. Now I'm going to go ahead and select that data. Uh, I've got it there, including the header. And I'm going to go ahead and insert a histogram chart. Now, I've actually got a system that is correctly rolling a 10-sided die a hundred times. These are random numbers we're seeing here. Uh, I'm going to go back up sort of to the top here. Take this up a ways. But it's rolling, and you can see them as I scroll up. It's rolling numbers between 1 and 10. I want to put this back at the top. I'll go over here and I'll just uh, type a period. If you watch, the numbers on the left changed. It rolled them again. It's rolling a 10-sided die 100 times and making a histogram of the 100 rolls. Essentially, these are roughly 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, 8s, 9s, and 10s. And there's, this is purely random. Purely random. The theoretic distribution is uniform. I'm rolling a 10-sided die a hundred times. I should get 10 ones, 10 twos, 10 threes, 10 fours, but that's not how probability works. Let me go over here and add another. Every time I roll these dies, I get a shape. And all of these shapes, believe it or not, these are all essentially uniform. I know that's crazy. Like, I mean, this one at least looks somewhat uniform. But we learn in statistics that there's a lot of fuzziness to things. And so all of these are indeed uniform at some level. You never get 10 1s, 10 2s, 10 3s. You never get a perfectly flat. Well, I shouldn't say never. I guess if I kept that this long enough, maybe I'd get a flat one. Maybe. But probably the universe would run out of energy and turn into a burnt cinder long before I got there. The odds are actually against getting 10 1s, 10 2s, 10 3s to getting a true uniform distribution. And yet these are roughly speaking, uniform distributions. They're not, you know, they, this isn't some trimodal or something else. So, the uniform is a little difficult to recognize, but it's not centrally peaked. You can see that because periodically I get really high values way out at the end. This one at least looks sort of uniform. That one less so maybe. But you can see I'm getting very different results every time I change something on the spreadsheet. It re-rolls all those dice, all 100 die. And all of these are technically uniform. Strange but true. So do be careful. Uh, we roughly... When we talk about uniform, we mean roughly uniform. When we talk about symmetric centrally peaked, we mean roughly centrally peaked and roughly symmetric. Bimodal, we want to see something deeply bimodal before we call it bimodal. This is not bimodal. Uh, it's deeply bimodal. We want to see a clear valley and clear peaks left and right. We certainly aren't seeing that here. Uh, so even though you might think these things are not uniform, they are.